we are now set up for our next challenge, basically, our next practice. And this practice will improve your stroke considerably. And this uh, takes a little more time and uh, takes more concentration. But once you learn to do this, you'll be down there, you'll be shooting just about as good as about anybody around other than the professional. But you'll be able to play the game and maybe right up there with the rest of them. And now you'll notice that I have actually only 10 balls rolled up here. Uh, we're just going to use 10 balls for now. Uh, as you get better at it, if you want to put up all 15 of the colored balls up there in a row and do it that way, that's fine. And that will help you too. But we're going to use just 10 balls. And the idea of this, and you put the cue ball at this dot, in line with this dot, okay, which is about 8 inches behind each ball. Alright? And you do that, and what we're going to do is shoot five balls into that corner, and then the other five balls into that corner. Okay? Now, it doesn't matter where the cue ball goes, but if you miss a shot, you need to start all over again. So you don't want to have to do that, so take your time. And here again, we're not going to roll the ball forward. We're just going to shoot in the middle of the ball, middle of the cue ball, so basically it's going to stop right where it is, so we can pick it up and move it. So let's try it. Right here, focus. Okay. Move the cue ball back even with that line there. You can line it up with it for the pocket. Do that. We keep shooting. We do this all the way across. And that teaches you basically how to shoot your ball. Now one thing I want to show you, or to actually tell you, what I'm doing here, and this is also important, you want to know where you're looking at. All right, first of all, I'm going to line up my cue ball so it's right even with the... My shot is right even with the pocket so I know where I'm going to shoot. And I'm looking at the cue ball to see where my tip will hit. And that's where I want it. And then I'm going to look up here at this ball right here, where I want to hit that ball. And I'm going to keep my eye right there until after I hit it. Now watch this. Now I'm looking at that ball. And I don't take my eyes off it until the ball stops. Now we'll go to the other side. I'm going to do the same thing. We can line it up. It doesn't matter. You can move it around wherever you feel comfortable. But you got to keep it back here with this one, okay? Then we just go over here with this pocket, like such. I'll do one more here, and we'll do this. Okay, now, let me set it up again and I'll show you the continuation. Okay, we are set up for the next round, and you notice that the ten balls are still in the same spot, right from pocket to pocket, right in the line. The only thing this time, instead of going from the first diamond, we're going to the middle diamond down here with the cue ball. So every time you shoot, you bring the cue ball back in line with these two dots here. It's a little more difficult, alright? And you do the same thing. Now if you miss one, then you got to put the balls all back, start all over again. This has got to make it consistent. Once you've mastered that, then again, you take the cue ball, start here again. You're back here like this, shooting a long way. Alright? That will really improve your, your uh, shot. So, let's try a shot or two this way. And see, and once again, we're going to hit just the center of the ball, because we don't want to roll and fold on us. So, we're just going to hit the center of the ball. Okay, I'm going to try one more back here. Now 
like I said, this is just practice. This is to prove your stroke. Alright. Now, like I said, once you've mastered that all the way across, then you come back here to this line. Okay? This dot here. Right here. And then we'll try this one. Now, this is a little more difficult. Now, it doesn't matter. If you want to roll the ball forward, do this. But you don't want to do that. Right now, we just want to make that ball. Now, you, here you can either use the, the closed bridge or your open bridge or your rail bridge. Either one is available here, and I'll show you the rail bridge. Like that. Okay. Let's try one more back here. And we'll chalk up, and we'll give it another shot. This time we'll use the other bridge, and like that. All right. Now I want you to just practice that for all week long as much as you possibly can. And when we come back, we're going to do a few other things and show you how to actually aim, how to make your ball into the sides or corners or whatever, how to make that ball go in there and a little bit more on how to control your cue ball. Alright, thank you and we'll see you for the next lesson. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Hi everyone, how are you? Wandering Wesley here. Just want to say thanks for watching the video. If you like it, give us a thumbs up. And while you're down there, give us a little subscribe and get some updates. we got some pretty good videos out there. So once again, thanks a lot. We'll catch you next time. Thank you.